The second matchup that fans will be treated to on that Wednesday night, starting at 7.30, Newcalf and Covington Catholic. And uh, this is an interesting matchup. Newcalf beat Covcast 63-53 earlier in the season. These two teams have sort of gone different directions, in my opinion. Not that Newcast has necessarily fallen off, but I think Covcast improved. They're playing their best ball right now at the right time of the year. I like Covcath in this matchup personally, but I think this is going to be a great first-round matchup, as a lot of these games are. I think this one is definitely a close game. And for for Newcath, I think it's going to come down to what do they get out of their guards. And Brady Haichu, we are expecting him to be one of the top players coming back in the ninth region this year. He's been up and down. He's been a little inconsistent. He's struck, it, it, it was just been kind of a streaky year for him. You come back after the football. He had a bad ankle injury that he was kind of slow from to start. There's a new chemistry to the team. He was trying to sort of find his role, maybe force some things early. He seemed to play better as of late, but I think he's the key. He's the one that's sort of take them to the next level and give them that guy that's tough to, tough to guard, that you just can't match up with. He can be that type of scorer for them, and I think Cuffcat will probably – probably put a guy like Clint Massey on him, who is a pretty good defender. So that'll be a key matchup to watch. And then, of course, inside, Zach Tobler versus Drew McDonald, the freshman for Newcastle, is going to be a very important matchup. Those two guys, whoever wins that from a productivity standpoint, both points and rebounds, will obviously be key in this game as well. Yeah, to your point about Haichu, I think he uh, you know, he was a guy that came in with the loss of, of uh, Jake Eisler. He kind of felt like he had to take over the role of, of scorer and, and be that offense that they needed to, to fill that void. And uh, I think he, he forced the issue. And and I understand why. I see his reasoning behind that. Um, but he was, you know, like you said, fresh off, off of football. He, he hadn't done a lot, had a lot of practice with his team. So I think he, he tried to do too much coming into that situation. Um, but I, as you said, I think he's, you know, he's kind of taken a step back. And they've grown together as a team. They're a team that I think is dangerous in this tournament because they have the experience of getting, you know, to the to the championship last year. But at the same time, that they're not as strong as they were. So, Newcath and Cuffcath I think is a great matchup. As you said, I really like that Tobler um, and McDonald and McDonald matchup down there. We saw McDonald have a, a just a whale of a game in his. You know, first varsity game earlier this year against Dixie, and that was against Dixie. That was against big time, uh, a big time opponent. So we know he's capable, and you know, Tobler, he's that's kind of his specialty is, is shutting down the big man's on uh, on defense. So ex- expect a a lot of uh, physicality going down in the post. Yeah, and I think that the the problem for Newcath is just going to be Nick Rusets. Um and they did a good job against him earlier this year, and Grant Brandon. This is the other thing I'm really excited about this matchup is the coaching matchup. Grant Brannon, Scott Ruth, that's two of the uh, most, the youngest coaches, but also the best X and O guys, in my opinion. They run lots of great sets. They do a good job of game planning for other teams. And it's going to be interesting to see what each of them come up with because I think Newcat did a really good job of containing Ruth sets the first time around. It'll be interesting to see if they can do that a second time. I mean, you know, again, he's a small guard, so there are certain things you can do, trying to put bigger guys with some more length on him, trying to keep him out of the lane. I think you have to turn him into a jump shooter and hope he beats you from the outside as opposed to making everybody else better by getting into the lane. If Newcat's able to do that, I think they've got a chance. If they let Ruth Sets make plays, get 25 points or so, it's going to be really tough to stop this Cubcat team because I think they're starting to get enough contributions and feel comfortable and confident enough as a group to sort of beat you together. And when he gets off too, it really makes it tough to beat them. Oh, you're without question. You want if you're Cubcats, you don't want him scoring a lot of points. You want your other guys getting open and, and letting rough sets get inside, kick out to the open threes because they're such a good shooting team. And we saw that against Holy Cross in their first round district matchup. Um, they can be. They struggled so poorly against Holmes they couldn't make anything. And I think that's what you're saying is that's the key is. When when he makes shots for everyone else to where they can knock down all these right. open looks, they're really tough to right. beat. On the flip side, when you see what's happening against Holmes, that they struggle to make anything. Well, what Newcat has to do is they can't let those shots be open shots. They have to be contested shots. Right. If you put some pressure in their face, they're going to struggle a little bit. Yep. And and that's that goes for anyone. You can, you can't leave guys wide open and Cupcat. They had so many wide open shots against Holy Cross. That's why they were successful. So. Newcat's going to have to, you know, learn from that. I think 
I think they were there. I think they saw that. Um, so that's that's got to be their game plan. They they got to sit back, make them beat them with with their offense and and not get in too much trouble. Well, you know, you just brought up a very good point too. Newcath and of course the 36th district played on different nights from the 35th. So both of these teams. Um, should have had chances to scout each other if right. they wanted to. I'm I'm pretty sure I saw Newcath in the house um, Friday night as well for the finals of the 35th. So if you saw them there, they probably got two chances.